Hello, OK friends. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching my video, my channel is all about orchids. From what orchids I have, how I grow them, my thoughts on certain orchid topics, to what orchids in my collection are blooming, etc. So if you want to follow along my orchid hobby adventure, please consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification. Today in this video, we're going to look at one of my water culture Phalaenopsis orchid. This one is a mini from a grocery store, but this is already its second time blooming this year, which I'm really happy to share this with you. And I may have an identification for this orchid based on my research and according to my reliable source, hopefully, this one is called QT Honey. So hopefully this one is no longer a no ID mini Phalaenopsis orchid. <laughs> Sometime in mid to late September, I noticed that the existing spike was elongating and I knew that it was going to flower again, which is awesome because it had already flowered earlier this year and I would take any bloom I can get. <laughs> So I move it toward um, the north facing window, closer to the window, even though I already have grow light um, shining on this orchid and then on, on the ceiling of my sunroom there is a huge LED um, light as well. Uh, the ceiling light is an LED um, unit that can take three light bulbs. So th it's pretty bright already, but I wanted to this orchid to have more natural sunlight so I move it closer to the to the window. This one is a water culture fowl. It's not quite full water culture because at least once one day a week I would dump out the water and let it let the roots dry up a little bit. Uh, essentially it's a rest for the for the roots and it's doing really well. And how I take care of this orchid or how I fertilize this orchid is really just quarter strength of fertilizer every other week or every other watering. And usually I do leave some water at the bottom of the cup. It's not even one third of the roots system. It's probably close to a quarter, maybe a little bit less than a quarter, maybe 20%, so one fifth. And in case you're new to my channel, how I grow a lot of my orchid is a double cup system. And you can see that this orchid is in a white, tra uh, sorry, a transparent cup. But then outside of it, I use a this, I, I use a same size cup, but then in blue. This one is not transparent, and the reason for that is I want to reduce sunlight as much as possible because I do not want the inner cup, the roots, or the water to have too much algae. I mean, there is still gonna be some sunlight that may potentially, you know, allow some algae to form, but by having an outer cup, it, it reduces the sunlight dramatically that I rarely have to wash the cup. In fact, this year so far, I don't think I have ever taken this orchid out to clean the cup just yet. And here you can take a look at the um, the cleanness or the extent of the, the inner cup. There isn't really any algae. There may be some on the root, but because I sometimes let them dry out for a day or two each week, that the algae doesn't really grow all that much.
and the buds were finally mature、uh, around end of October. The first flower started to open, and I really like the flower. Pattern or the pattern on the flower,、um, it has some tiny dots、um, in the petal and sepals, and then the lip itself is white for the most part, and then toward the center of the lip you see that darker yellow, and the entire flower is pretty much yellow except that if you look at the center there is that ring of pink, which is quite interesting. And then it was about less than two weeks after the first flower opened that、um, the second flower started to open. And every time this orchid start to open its bloom, I, the way that the, the flower looked as it was opening, it just looks like a tiny spaceship to me.、Um, it's very cute, kind of round, but then you have two wings on the sides. But anyway, <laughs> back to.、Um, This orchid. Unfortunately, this one doesn't quite have any fragrance that I can detect. But if you Google the name that I, the, the ID, potential ID that I found for this orchid, people claim that this orchid is fragrant. But for whatever reason, the one that I have isn't really quite fragrant. I could smell a little bit of something, but I can't really quite say that that's a fragrance. And. It could be that because the, the the way that this orchid, this particular cross is made, that trait, that fragrance trait characteristic was simply lost, right? And it's possible because when you make certain hybrids, even though with the same parent, they don't always inherit、um, everything as expected. And maybe that's why you know this orchid ended up in the grocery store for me to buy. But I still like the or.、Uh, it, The, the color of this orchid's bloom,、um, and it's a very vigorous orchid. The leaves are getting larger and larger. The root system is really good, and it immediately adapted to water culture. It had really no adjustment period. So this orchid, I really think, it is a very hardy orchid to have to grow. And coming up, the next segment of this video is a a a video、um, segment that I took, a video I took of this orchid, so that way you can take a look, a closer look at how the orchid was when it was in full bloom, this particular bloom cycle, and also how the leaves were growing, how the roots were growing, and how it was kept、um, with this two cup inner outer. Inner outer cup system,、um, and overall, I really think this orchid, like I said earlier, is a very hardy orchid, and I think I only paid less than nine U.S. dollar for it at a grocery store. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's either six ninety nine or eight ninety nine at a grocery store. But anyway, for the rest of the video, it's a, this video clip, and I do have some、um, caption. Um, toward the bottom of the screen, if I want to explain certain things, but I hope you will enjoy this video clip as well as the background music. And as always, if you think that you have a ID or a different identification for this orchid, please also let me know so I can also share with the rest of the the orchid hobbyists on YouTube.
This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get more orchid related videos from my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I want to wish you happy growing and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao!